Hello, tube amplifiers are highly respected by audiophiles for their distinctive sound as well as their esoteric appearance. However, their construction is relatively complex, especially in the part of the power supply and output audio transformer. For these reasons, uh, often are made so-called hybrid audio amplifiers in which the input preamplifier part is made with tubes and the output part is usually made with MOSFET transistor due to the high internal resistance similar to tubes. Thus the distortions or the, of the even harmonics, which are in fact the reason for the colored warm sound of the tube amplifiers, are amplified by the output transistor stage. But unfortunately, these positive distortions occur most often in the output stage in the tube amplifiers, so the aforementioned hybrid ampli amplifiers do not have very similar characteristic to the tube amplifiers. Uh, the amplifier described in this project is also hybrid, but now the case is reversed and the tube is used at the output, thus preserving all the positive features of a pure tube amplifier. Uh, Russian power pentode in fact transmitter tube GU81 is used, is used at the output, which can still be easily bought in the countries of the former Eastern Bloc. Supposedly, this tube is in this connection, single-ended, should bring 130 watts RMS as a pure class A. Uh, the, circuit, the circuit was presented by M. Anders in 2011, but I could not find any data on whether anyone made it and it worked well. It is basically very simple and, control, and consists of components that we can have or can be very easy found, with the exception of the output audio transformer. Luckily, I had such a transformer taken from an old 50 watt Dynacor instrumental amplifier. In order to simplify the project even more, I used some ready-made ready modules. In the following, I will describe in more detail the construction of this uh, amplifier. G81 uh, for heating uses 12 volts, 10.5 amperes. For that purpose, the simplest way to, uh, is to use a cheap power supply from old PC. And in my case, it is a power supply from, um, from an old server PC. Uh, to extend the service life of the tube, a series resistors, resistor of 2.2 ohms, 10 watts is used, which is bridged uh, after 20 seconds from the moment of activation of the power supply. This avoids the shock of the sudden current impact on the tube. Uh, the next part is the anode power supply uh, for the tube. For this purpose, a microwave oven transformer is used, which is relatively inexpensive and can be easily purchased at a service center. Uh, this type of transformers are not intended for long-term continuous operation, so it is desirable to use two such transformers to which both the primary and the secondary are connected in series, uh, as shown on the circuit. These are two transformers in series. In, bit, in both cases, the output voltage is about 2.2 kV. Uh, I use one transformer because, because I only use this amplifier during this presentation. Follows the Gretz bridge. Since it, is very, since it is very difficult to find such a component for very high voltage, I made, I made it as follows. Each branch of the Gretz bridge consists uh, of five series connected diodes of type 1N4007 uh, uh, so that the total breakdown voltage of the equivalent diode is about 5000 volts, which is quite enough for this case. 
Uh, next, uh, voltage filtering is performed with eight serially connected electrolytic capacitors for high voltage of four volts each. And on each capacitor is connected a parallel resistor uh, of 470 kilo ohms, which are used to discharge capacitor after shutdown. Uh, it is recommended that the total capacitance of these capacitors uh, be higher to avoid a noise. The power supply of the amplifier contains the transformers, capacitors and grass bridge uh, and is covered with plexiglass for safety reasons as there are very high voltage there. Next is the dry stage for the output tube which is actually a standard AB class transi transistor amplifier. Initially my idea was to use this small and cheap 30 watts D-class amplifier with active tone control, but unfortunately its outputs uh, are not grounded at all, so in this configuration a lot, a lot of unwanted noises appeared at the final signal. Since the rest of amplifier was completely ready, I decided to use my old 30 watts AB-class JVC uh, amplifier to drive the output tube. Uh, of course, you can use uh, uh, for for this purpose. You can use uh, any home amplifier which, which with an approximately such output power. Of course, you can use one of the cheap AB class amplifier modules that can be purchased online. But in that case, another power supply would be needed, with complicate, which complicates the construction. Uh, and now comes the most important part to hear how this amplifier sounds in reality. Unfortunately, I do not have a quality sound box to fully feel the sound coming out of this amplifier, so I present only its functionality. 
Anyway, you could not capture the real sound recorded by my smartphone and then play it on YouTube. And finally, a conclusion based on my previous extensive experience in the field of the self-construction and listening mostly on transistor amplifiers. Generally, it cannot be a high-end device, but it is a very interesting project because it shows how a relatively strong hybrid tube output amplifier can be made in a relatively simple way. Uh, it can theoretically deliver up to 130 watts of RMS in pure A class. I tested it up to about 50 watts of output power in real conditions for which power is provided uh, and the output audio transformer. It is very important to tell you that during the hearing test I did not notice the distortions at least not such that it would be uncomfortable for the ears. I also listened, in, listened to it on a larger quality sound box and I'm uh, really satisfied with the sound quality and I was especially surprised by the large output power that the tube output can deliver in terms of simplicity. Uh, note that uh, no input, uh, at, at no input signal, a relatively loud noise, noise is heard coming from the high voltage anode power supply, but the reason for this is primarily the small capacity of the filter capacitors, a total of about 70 microfarads in my case, and the fact that the amplifier is not properly grounded and shielded in metal box. All in all, this is a very interesting and valuable project. Just imagine that it would look like to uh, what it would look like to make a stereo version in a beautiful box lined with a glossy lacquered wood. Let me just mention the visual effect at work uh, when the two tubes emit a yellowish light and look great. The following is a short video description of how this wonderful amplifier is made. 